Hello, this is Easy, and this is an update on this plugin. This plugin is called the Key Remesher Guides. This works with the Key Remesher that's built in the ZBrush. We're going to select the Key Remesh Key Guides here. And we're going to have some buttons loaded at the bottom here. So we're going to need to select the Tutorial View window. And uh, like I said, if you want to try this, there's going to be a link below the video. Now, this is called uh, the Key Remesher Guide version A. Now, if you're new, I'm not going to go over all these buttons. Um, there's going to be a link in the README text once you download this, and it's got a video, and it'll show you about these. Now, all I'm going to go over is the paint guides right here. This creates guides by mask. If you have the older version, um, you won't have this paint guide button here. This is the newer version. So once you download it, and let's say you already have the older version, um, there's going to be two files that you're going to be in the zip file, and you'll just overwrite your old ones, and then you'll have this button here. So we're going to create a mask. We're going to hold down the control key, and I'm going to paint this uh, eye area. I'm going to turn on solo here. And once we do that, We'll press the paint guides here, creates guides by mask. And we come up here, there's our new guides. And I do one for the mouth. Paint guides here. Uh, you can see there's uh, another guide here in the middle. Anywhere there's an open hole, it's going to create a guide. Um, it created a guide in the back of the mouth here. So be aware of that. And another thing is, um, when I'm going to paint a guide, I'm going to uh, it won't overlap into another guide. So if I hold the mask, control key down to mask, and I drag down in the mouth, and I come up in the eyes. Even if I go straight across in the eyes, it's not going to put a mask there. And then we're going to paint guide. And we get our guides like that. Now we can paint within another guide here, so let me turn my draw size down. And we're going to go ahead and put a mask in here a little bit. And we get our new guides on the inside there. Control click to see different parts. As you can see, I have a two little guides up here in the nose. It is because that nose had a hole in it, so be aware of that. Um, that's optional if you want to go to the geometry and uh, modifier. And what you need to do is close the holes if that's causing you a problem. You say I didn't want to. Uh, mess with this anymore I want to maybe kind of uh, not start all the way over um, I'll click remove all the guides here and uh, we'll go to poly groups and we're gonna group visible that way our guides are gone there and if I want to start over now there's a little indentation of uh, where the guides used to be that but the guides are no longer there that's the mass that's causing that So we're going to open up Lightbox. Here's the key remesh one here. I always want to save this and uh, I'm going to start the next section. Here's a little example if I want to continue this guide. Um, we would just do this with mass. It basically, maybe start up here, around the eyes, fill them in, come down to the nose. Come down and maybe a little bit for the mouth. Now I'm getting a little feedback, so I'm having to tip it a little bit, and that brings it away. And we'll press the paint guides, and we get this continuous guide that went around. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, click to remove that. And uh, as you can see, um, it does give it a little indentation around there. Um, 
you can use this key remesher over here but uh, it's not recommended when you have this because um, it's going to try to key remesh over this and have a little bump and probably maybe not what you want um, basically you want to use this because what happens is um, this is going to load in the one that was already saved and it's not going to have the little ridges around here and then it's going to key remesh over it and keep the guides alright I pause the video and um, we're going to go on the next step here I'm going to hold the control key down I switched it already to drag rack and uh, you can use it with any kind of alpha we'll just leave it blank for right now and kind of drag this out and there's our new guides now if you want to use uh, alpha that's kind of got a sharp edge for some reason you might hold down the control key let's say this one right here this little arrow um, so we don't have any fall off we're going to need to change the focal shift but you need to change it while the control key is held down because if you don't you know, you're not really doing any changes so hold the control key down first set the focal shift to minus 100 and we're going to drag out like this and paint guide and our, there's our new guides up there oh, we can turn polyframes on and then you get something like that In this part I'm going to show you how to combine the guides here for one continuous flow if you notice right here above the eye here and where it reaches in next to the nose we got this flow there they're together and I want to make this uh, continuous without having this line in the middle where they meet um, this is based on how, how you want the edge to flow is where these guides are at and this is where the stiffness um, divider um, comes into play low uh, number one is at the lowest it will try following the guides a little bit at the lowest then 100 at the highest so um, that's when you cue remesh at and like I said if you're using this with mass it's best to use this cue remesher than this one here because this one don't load in this model um, this one will load in the original one that was saved so with that said let's go ahead and uh, combine these right here the nose and the uh, eyes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Control key, shift key. Well, let's go ahead and delete these first. Control key, shift key. Click the nose. And I got these keys still held down. Click again. Control key, shift key still held down. Click the eyes. Then I'm going to invert this here. Then what I'm going to do is hold the control key and mask this and then bring it back. Then we're going to get that right there. Then we're going to press paint guides. Then we're going to get our guides. The continuous flow. We don't have that flow between the eyes and the nose socket anymore. Now if we want to uh, do the mouth and add that to it, I'm going to, I'm not going to make it continuous ones, but I'm going to go ahead and click here, I'm going to mask this and I'm going to bring it back. I'm always going to unhide it and then we're going to paint guides. And you can see now we still got the edge that's in the middle between the uh, top here and the bottom. This works with pretty much any of uh, these, uh, anything it does with masking. We got some of these masking uh, brushes here. Um, I'll hold the control key. I got some of my options already set up. So if I drag like this and paint mask, then we'll get our guides right there. Now, if I drag over this again, what will happen is they will overlap. And we'll create guides that are overlapping. Alright, now if we switch the drag or the uh, stroke type to dots and try painting, then we won't get that effect. So be aware of uh, how that works when you're kind of overlapping. Sometimes when you're using these uh, masking um, brushes and you draw the mask uh, what happened it will create a mask in the back we'll clear the mask and we want to work just in that area so control key shift key and bring that over there and anytime that you do this you got anything that's partially hidden when you're doing this paint mask always bring it back 
Okay, it'll work better that way. We ain't got no mess behind the head. And uh, we'll get that right there. Uh, one last tip here before I go. Um, you know, if, when we was using the key remesher guides here and we click and drag, then you'll hold the shift key to get around it. Well, sometimes it pops around and it's not wanting to go where I want it to go. So instead of using that, I'm going to click here and I'm going to hold the control key down. I got these um, masking pins already set up. And you can see them over here. And I'm going to start masking on the left side. And I want to mask this whole arm out. So I need to start somewhere below lower than the fingertips so I want to get everything masked. If I start up here and drag, well the fingertips are in, probably won't get masked so I'm going to start below it, hold the control key and I'm going to drag up to the area I want and I'm going to tap the uh, alt key to get a little curvature going here and maybe this is where I want my edges right there then I would just press the paint mask and there's my guide all the way around it.